Everybody, welcome back. Falcon Xenonauts. Oh, look, it's another alien base. Oh, could have fooled me. That's exactly what we're up to, though, unfortunately. But this time around, we do have the mag weaponry, and we have a few people equipped with plasma guns, too. So we're no longer, like, completely underleveled and just kind of fighting the odds and getting through. We're actually looking pretty goddamn good, I think, for this mission. I um, already did the deployment phase. I didn't want to bore you that with that. So at least we have that out of the way. I'm going to have my two... I guess, um, shield dudes over here along with Dave. I'm gonna have, um, old Hubers back in his old role. Stones, native over here. So basically this area is a little bit more packed because I'm... I'm confident in two shields and Dave kind of doing some work over here while these guys are probably a little bit less for wear, so... Plus we have Mighty Mikey over here kind of helping these dudes out. So, I'm thinking we split up the group a little bit. <coughs> <coughs> oh, God. How about, um, split up my fucking lungs a little bit too? Um, I'm thinking we split up the group a little bit, but not too far off and just kind of keep them within arm's reach in case anything happens. So, let's have Frodo open the door because, um, again, he's going to be our quote-unquote grenadier in a sense. Right off the bat, we have a Grace, so we're looking at what? Mewtwo's and Grace for this one? That's not too bad. At least I know what to expect. So let's actually try out the mag weaponry now, huh? So we're looking at a 95% shot from all the way back here. Take it, Dave. We just destroyed that dude in one shot, so... <laughs> Suddenly, fucking aliens are not no longer dealing with um lasers, alright? So suddenly, um, you know, no more sharks with freaking laser beams on their head. Sorry for the dated reference there, but god damn it. You know, I've been actually talking a lot, but um usually like I'm a big television buff. I, I like like to watch a lot of television. Like usually when I'm not doing when I'm not doing anything else, then I'm not gonna go out or anything like that, and it's kind of like having a lazy day. I really enjoy just kind of staying home and like watching television with my girl, either, you know, Netflix, whatever the fuck, download some movies. Uh, legally, mind you, da download them legally. Um, that's all I'm saying. Um, and just like, you just watch television shows, marathon through television shows, uh, marathon through movies, uh, Netflix and shit to like degree. And we normally have to like, we, we normally try at least to pick out like themes for them. There's an alien over here. Shoot, you kind of get a bit closer. You have a shot? You kind of do, but I'm not, not looking too great. Native should have a pretty good shot as we get him a bit closer, or get her a little bit closer, I should say. How's this one looking? 81? 52? I say you take that one. Eh, you know, it was a try. It was not a great try, but a good try at the very... Or not a great try, but it was a try. Um, I say we... 60... Take a knee? So we take this one. I don't have high hopes for you. But Shubes is back with a fucking mission today, man. He was just kind of like, you know what, Falcon? I don't want to replace as a predator unit, so good on you, Shubes. Good return. Um, we normally, when we do marathons, we like to have themes to them. It sounds kind of weird, I know, but bear with me here. We do like to have themes to what we're watching, so recently I've been throwing the idea of having like a Mike Myers theme, like a marathon. We just watched like, a few movies by Mike Myers. And that kind of got us into the whole talk about Austin Powers, and I was like, whatever did happen to Mike Myers after Austin Powers? Because I know, I know The Love Girl came out, and yeah, it was a fucking terrible movie. But I haven't seen him in a movie since then, and then she mentioned that he was in Cat in the Hat, and I was like, oh, that's true. I didn't watch the Cat in the Hat, but I've heard it's fucking terrible too. But, I mean, here's the thing. Um, sure, he, he had like two terrible movies, but... It's still Mike Myers. It's still he's still a funny guy. I mean, I enjoy the fuck out of the Austin Powers movies. I mean, it's kind of like a guilty pleasure thing. I mean, sure, the comedy is kind of like you know, it's not really witty comedy. It's just kind of like uh, did I say comedy? It's not really witty comedy. It's more just kind of like you know, in your face. Oh, you're gonna laugh because you know I'm being really blunt about what I mean here, and that's fine. I mean, I. Oddly enough, believe it or not, uh, whether I, I display it or not, I do enjoy witty comedy. That's that com Why is it with me not being able to say the word comedy today? Now, that's a comedy in itself, not, me not being able to speak anymore. Um, I, I do enjoy witty comedies. I mean, <laughs> probably my main demeanor tells you otherwise, but I really do. Hey, Mike, you hang out right there. That's I think that's going to be good for our first turn, see what happens. Alright, Mewtwo's teleporting around, that's what they do. So I think that one just teleported into that room that was kind of like nearby, right? So we might be able to kind of breach in through there. Teleporting around, so again, they can't shoot and teleport in the same turn, so that is a saving grace about that. And the teleportation kind of somehow, sometimes lets me to believe where they're exactly at. Like, yeah, that dude's right there. 
so I feel pretty good about taking him out. But yeah, I mean, I, even though my sometimes demeanor will lead you to believe otherwise, I'm really into like witty stuff. Like, I mean, what is witty though in reality, right? But I, I don't really enjoy comedies like The Hangover, Hot Tub, Time Machine, things like that. And I know a lot of people do, and that's fine. It's your prerogative to like them. I'm not saying that, you know, liking them makes you like, you know, any sort of lesser human. That's not the case. Let me take a knee for this one and try it. Good fucking damage, 115 for a pistol shot, I like it. You can even take one more. Can you knock him out? Please do. <laughs> Mag weaponry, why are you so based? Alrighty. Um, I would love to get some eyes on the side and make sure he's not going to get flanked, so let's get somebody in here. So, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of like not my type of comedy. Um, I... I'm kind of like a dude that likes like Seinfeld or Kirby or Enthusiast. I'm not saying that that's like, you know, somehow like superior comedy where it's kind of like, oh, every other comedy doesn't really match up to like, you know, witty satire or anything like that. It's not the case. That's what I'm saying at all. I can't move through here? What the fuck is this all about? Interesting. Well, at least we know he's safe. So I'm not saying that whatsoever in any by any means necessary, right? But um, I'm just very, I guess, picky with my comedy. Let's just leave it at that. So, but I mean, I guess that old, what did that stem from? That stemmed from me saying that I enjoyed Austin Powers, right? <laughs> so, I do enjoy Austin Powers, even though it's not like technically the comedy that I'm normally going after, so to say. I'm gonna have uh, Raphael Olsen take a knee over here. But yeah, I mean, what does this all, what does this have to do with anything, Falcon? I don't know, I just wanted to share with you guys that I want to do a Mike Myers marathon. Why is there no more Austin Powers? And that's it. End of story. <laughs> so I apologize for the 10 minute dribble about Mike Myers just to let you guys know that I'm planning to do a Mike Myers marathon. Believe me, the awkward silence is uh, intentional. <laughs> Alright, let's actually get back into the game here and wrap our heads around what the hell is looking ahead of us right now. I'm really liking the mag weaponry by the way, so I forgot who it was that told me, um, mag weaponry, get it, and then, um, I, I'm glad that you did because otherwise I would just probably put all my you know eggs in one basket and just invest in nothing but plasma weapons and now I'm kind of glad that I decided to wait around and skip them just because even though it kind of put me in a tough spot initially it's kind of paying off dividends now that I have like uh, you know the the good weaponry now you know the mag weaponry so it is paying off dividends now for sure um, I feel confident in moving Psycho over here because there doesn't seem to be any aliens around that's gonna blow us up. The nearest one is over here. He's not gonna come all the way down here and throw a grenade, I have to imagine. So Shadow Asian, you move over here. Should be safe right there. And then old Tubers, 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 what can you do for us? Um, let's have him move over here. Because we do know this area is secure for the most part. I just want to kind of get some eyes over here and see if there's anything scary over here on this side. No. And this is basically one isolated room, huh? Interesting. Alrighty, that should be good for him. And Mighty Mikey's still waiting him back over here, so that's good. Uh, we'll move Mighty Mikey. Maybe over here should be safe. So far, I'm liking the layout to this mission. It's not too convoluted in itself, so I'm kind of getting it. It looks a little bit different, but yet familiar, if that makes any sense. I think we end our turn now and see what happens. Alrighty, the most amazing shot of all time is what happened, but that's okay. Um, 19 damage isn't really something I'm too concerned about, although, I mean, it sucks having it happen, but... That was a good shot. What can I say about that alien? Other than good shot, motherfucker. That was our rookie that took the shot? Okay. Um, let's see. Raphael Olsen, how about you? Oh, you got a great shot over here. Take it. 84? Okay. Not enough for the kill, but close. This one's gonna be a lesser chance. Oh, I'm gonna still take it and hope for the best. Ugh, close, close, close. Alrighty. Shadow Asian could potentially get the kill. I don't think I'm, I might be able to get a shot with Tubes though, considering he has like all the TUs in the world. Uh oh. So we're looking at two of these bad boys now, huh? 44 for the shot. What happens if I moved here? I can still get the shot off, but then I'm kind of left in the dark with this dude. How do I want to approach this? Can I get a shot from here though? That's the real question. I, I want to say that I should be able to, but I'm not completely sure. I'm going to try it. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna die. No fucking questions about that. And I think what we do now is we just duck him just to get a little bit of an extra safety zone from that one. Now, this dude's still gonna be a problem for us. Ah, oh, 
I should have known that I, I, I saw the suppression, I just forgot about it completely. How about this? How about you open the door for Shadow Asian? And we let Shadow Asian try to take care of the whole thing here for us. You have a shot? No, you're being blocked right here, so let's get you closer. What about now? You're being blocked. Let's get you out of there. What about now? Being blocked by your own dude. This is your shot, right? Oh, yeah. Not enough to duck and take the shot, but enough to stand, and I think that's gonna be okay. Boom. Alrighty. So, um, you know, Crisis averted over here, and then since Shadow Agent is here, we could also heal up Psycho afterwards, so I feel relatively good about that. Now, Native. Native, Native, Native. Now, he's not in a good spot over here. Shoops, that is. So, I'm thinking maybe we take stones over here and just kind of crouch him there with the shield. Just in case anything does happen from this location, we could have him kind of absorb the hit. But nothing is going to happen over here. Alright, so we just hang out this way. And finally, Native. You get involved. I would say roughly here, just so that if anything happens next time, you can just kind of pop out and take a shot from over this side. Okay, good stuff on this side. I'm really liking the fact that our groups are kind of, you know, even though they're split up and they're not completely even in terms of, like, you know, damage potential, they still could kind of hold their own with some, you know, diligent moving around and whatnot. So, Frodo, since you are the nightstick person, I think you move up ahead because um, this shield person can still potentially get a shot. Okay, that was, that was scary. Not too surprised that it happened, though. No. <clears throat> okay, good. Good, good. I like that one. Mighty Mikey. Remember, those guys can throw grenades, so I'm not gonna stack people up. <laughs> I say it, and then I do it, though, right? Um, so let's have Manny Skins kind of hang out right here. That's not too close for a grenade, right? I mean, I guess he could lay right here and fuck both of us up, but not too severely. Let's just do it this way. We'll have Dave then push up to here. And I think that should pretty much do it. Mighty Mikey stays behind this cover. I like this one. So let's end our turn. He's gonna come around. Pretty much expected, but I was sure that my shield would take the blood of the damage. And hey, even a Raid or a Mewtwo came around to say what's up, and that's okay. He'll get his just deserves really soon. No mind control me, motherfuckers. It's not gonna work. We're too mentally based at this point to get mind control. What are you talking about, man? Alrighty. So, here is uh, a predicament, but I'm thinking Frodo could knock this guy easily, and then we could um, handle these dudes ourselves. So, Frodo, you just knock this motherfucker into next week. Uh, see you later. I'll see you in the dissecting table, baby. <laughs> Alrighty, and then Manny Skin's over here. Um, you got the mag weaponry, right? 38 to use for his shot. 50? I mean, we could increase that by taking the knee, obviously. How are we looking at now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking we take a knee now. 88. Boom, take it. God damn, that damage is so good. Oh, ho, oh, oh, oh. ho, ho. That could be harmful, assuming Dave uh, misses. Not gonna miss, are you, Dave? No. Okay. He <laughs> prices averted there. I'm gonna worry there for a second. Okay, if I move Dave over here, what are the odds somebody runs around here and throws a grenade at us? Probably pretty low considering we have, um, Frodo over here kind of keeping an eye, right? And Mighty Mikey, you can start moving in a tad closer, but not too close. Okay, so we're done on this side now. Let's move over to the other team over here. What are you guys up to? You guys, I, guys, I... <laughs> what happened to my voice? I was trying to say, do you guys have eyes on anything? But apparently I turned into Arnold Schwarzenegger there for a second. You get eyes. Not sure if that was Arnold or more like some sort of weird Swedish Polish clone thing. Whatever. I don't even know half of the things that I say sometimes. Psycho needs to be healed, so um, momentarily let's have Shadow Asian do that just for us. Uh, now, are you still gonna be good? 57 out of 67. Yeah, I think you could still hang out for at least uh, one more push at you know, offensiveness. And then, Shadow Agent, you can move over here. Take a knee. Raphael Olsen. Shoob's moved. He's moved a bit. Let's have Shoob's move back over here, then. Nothing here, huh? Do I dare move over here? Yep. So, <laughs> good thing I had enough to get back. And then Psycho. Actually, no. Let's have Raphael Olsen move back behind this cover. 
we have a lot of people on this side. I should probably should have sent another extra person over there now that I think about it. But whatever. Especially because we have Native and Raphael and Cycle, so... I felt, I felt, I guess Dave, I gave too much credit to Dave. I was like, yeah, I guess Dave can handle it. This dude could run out of there all the way here and probably toss a grenade. It seems unlikely, but just in case, let me move Native one more back. Raphael Olsen should be okay. Let me have him take a knee just in case. And Cycle. Let's have you move here for now. And then up behind this wall. I think that's good. I'm gonna keep an eye out for the teleporting Mewtwo's at all times, too. I'm being very quiet because I want to hear what's happening. No teleportations, really? <clears throat> I heard absolutely nothing in this turn, which kind of worries me significantly. Because it leads me to believe that they're just probably posting up somewhere waiting for me to get to them. There's a room over here. And then another one here. So let's open up this one. Nothing in our foresight for now. Not sure how I feel about that. So let's just move him up here. Then we'll have Dave move up behind this cover, maybe? Manny Skins, how do I feel about sending you up here? Not too great, but I'm going to brisk it nonetheless, because it, it looked like nobody could, at the very least, come out through here. I didn't see the blind slides. I honestly was trying to turn around, and when I did turn around, he closed the door instead, so instead of wasting more to use, I... Fuck. Alrighty, we have Red Man again, from old uh, Wu-Tang Clan. So, I can move him here, but this worries me, so I'm going to just actually move him back this side, post up this way, and then... Not even take a knee, I don't think we need a knee for that one. You move a bit up. And I think Dave could actually even move all the way up here and still not be in too much danger. Maybe even up here. No. Can't get up there. So Dave, you hang out here. I think you should be relatively safe. And then we can move um, Mighty Mikey behind this cover. That's good. Now those guys are done. <clears throat> Let's go back to the other team here. I'm thinking we take um, stones, right? Alien all the way back there. Got it. Got it. Got it. The guy over here seems to be gone. How legit is that, though? Not legit. Just moved around a bit. Okay. Uh, I'm not too... I'm actually kind of glad that I spotted him there, though. Because at the very least, he's going to probably more than likely come around and try to take a shot. And that works out for us pretty well. The guy all the way back there is the one that worries me. Shadow Asian could help us out with that, dude. We just need to get some eyes on him again. So Native has some eyes. He's going to be blocked from that side. So maybe Shadow Asian could do something from, like... <clears throat> from this standpoint, hopefully. Uh, there's a block chance for sure, but I'm thinking we take it. 60 to use is not going to be enough to get behind and cover, though. So we take the... Take, I guess we take the lesser, the lesser one, even though I'm not too happy about it. But with Shadow Asian, <laughs> you just take the shot and it lands, though, doesn't it? Okay, so now Shubes <clears throat> is in a tough predicament here. Okay. Good luck, buddy. You're not Shadow Asian. You can't rep uh, pretty much re reproduce what we just did right there. Shubes is going to come around over here. Hopefully we don't trigger anything on this side. Doesn't seem like it. Good. So I'm thinking we just hang out behind this cover, right? <clears throat> Sorry for my throat. I'm not sure what's going on here. And Shadow Asian, you just get behind this cover. And you should be relatively safe here. Native, you're out in the open. I highly doubt this is going to come all the way around here and get a shot of my back, so that's the reason why I'm doing this. I'm not 100% sure it's not going to happen, but I think it shouldn't happen. And I hope for Native's life that it doesn't happen. Now, Raphael Olsen, you have a shot. Not a good one. It's a block chance, too, but I say you take it. Eh, yeah, you know what? It was worth it. I don't have much of a movement for you anyway, so I think it was worth it. We might as well move you here now, and we'll have Cycle kind of revolve over to here now. And maybe... And yeah, you know what? You have a similar shot. I say you take it. See what happens. <laughs> Cycle's like, I'm not the... Um, Shadow Age is not the only one that can land these shots, Falcon. Alright, you're out, fellas. And you turn around? I think that's good. That's a good turn. That's exactly how I was hoping that would play out. That one I wasn't working... I wasn't planning on, but I'm still glad he came out. Oh, shit. Mewtwo popped up. Mind control. Didn't work. 
Nice try, scumbags. These aliens fight with no honor, man. They try to take control of your mind. How about you just fight me one-on-one -on -one if you're so superior to us? Now, two bad boys over here is not a bad idea, or not a bad thing for us, because you know what that means? It means that if I had Mighty Mike, I could just blow him up. But I don't have him here, so... We do the next best thing, which is probably just blow him up to smithereens, right? So what are we looking at here? We're looking at 71. I say you definitely take this one. Now, is that going to be enough to kill both of them? Probably not. That's why I'm going to launch one more grenade in there to be on the safe side. <clears throat> so I'm thinking... I'm thinking Native does another one as well. And this essentially is to kill two birds with one stone. Um, 58. I'm not too happy about that percent. 77 is more like it. And that should technically take care of both of them. Now we just get Stones the fuck out of there so he doesn't get blown up. And then Native... Where do we move Native? <clears throat> I'm thinking probably... Can't make it over there. I guess he could probably just retreat back in here, huh? I think that's good. And Tubes, you take a look behind you just in case I'm worried. I'm always worried about something popping up out of here. Let me send you up here a bit. It's kind of dangerous sending you up there alone, I'm aware, but I, I have confidence that you are going to be relatively okay. Alright. And you know what? I think that this turn we just ended this way. Oh, wait, wait, no. We still have to move the other team. But I think those people over there are kind of done. I'm just going to wait for those grenades to kind of do the job for us. And then we have this dude to knock out. Can we knock him out with Frodo? We might be able to. If we're not, we have enough people to kill this guy anyway. <laughs> it just took one. Good job, Frodo. And... Are we secure over here? No. Blindside shot. So we know where he's at. Meaning, we need to move Frodo enough to get out of there. So, it's going to be up to Manny Skins. Oh, he's right there. Holy shit, I didn't even see that guy. Okay. <clears throat> so, he's right there. I can't even tell what the fuck that is. Might be a gray, though. So, how do we approach this one? Hmm. Would a grenade work? A uh, grenade would be... I can aim it at this dude. Apparently I can't. 40, 55. I'm not too crazy about it. Let's hold off. Let's have Dave come in here and see what Dave could do for us. <clears throat> Maybe he could get a shot in here. You're being blocked. Okay. What about now? You're still being blocked. And what about now? Being blocked by Frodo. Alright, this could pose a problem. Uh, this could pose quite a bit of a problem. Alright, so we can't grenade him, so we're gonna have to take a shot over here. And not even a good shot. 40 TUs. Alrighty, Manny Skins. I think with Manny Skins, we take this grenade after all. Alright, take the grenade. It did land. <clears throat> now, Dave? Oh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough to kill this dude, though. That's the problem. Dave, you won't be able to shoot from this thing. The screen's gonna actually block your chance. So I think you move here. Hope the grenade doesn't destroy you in the process, and you take this good shot. 41. You'll be able to duck, too. Oh, and you killed him. Thank God. Alrighty, so we have to even worry about the grenade unless it destroys Dave's life. I don't think it should, though. <laughs> okay. Crisis averted there. Uh, Mighty Mikey. Now, what do we do with Mikey? I think we just move him over here. I don't think you'll be able to trigger much unless something pops out of this door, which I doubt. Okay, let's end our turn here and let's see what happens with these explosions. They're dead. They have to be dead. This blew up, but that's okay. It was uh, out of Dave Dave's range, so good. I mean, fuck. So far, this is going really goddamn amazing, and I think the layout is actually really helping us, and of course, the mag weaponry are, is also giving, making it easier for us. But I can't really be cons um, too mad about this play so far. I'm doing relatively good. But again, I'm not, you know, going to pat myself in the bag because we know what happened last Alien Base while I was doing quote-unquote good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm going to cut it off here. We'll pick up next time and hopefully we can wrap it up. If not, you know, we'll see how it goes. 
If we do wrap it up soon, though, we'll just continue going with some Geoscape stuff and get some more research done, etc., etc. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up, leave a like, leave a comment. The support always means a lot, guys. I'll catch you guys next time.